here determine the deflection at d for the beam for for the truss shown in figure by unit load method so far we have studied in the previous video we have studied how to calculate the deflection by strain energy but here we have we have to calculate the deflection by unit load at the point where the we want the deflection that is at point c we want to calculate the deflection that is at c here that is at c by for the truss shown in figure here this one is subjected to a point load of 5 kN at C and 10 kN load at point A then this one is point D here we have to calculate the horizontal deflection at C by unit load method first we have to calculate the force in all the members this one is the roller support here this one is the one of the reaction com reaction at roller there are two reaction components at a that at b since that is on hinged support this length is 1.5 meter this length is 2 meter this one is by observing this this one is also that is here if you observe this this one is 3 this one is 4 this one is 5 that means this one is the length of this member is 2.25 meters 2.25 meters this one is 0.5 into 3 this one is 0.5 into 4 this one is 0.5 into 5 this one is 2.5 meter not 25 that is 2.5 meter now we have to calculate that is by applying the equilibrium equations now we can calculate the support reactions summation of mb equals 0 that is 10 into 1.5 that one is anti-clockwise then 5 into that is 0 then this reaction is r a into the height is 2 meter this one is anti-clockwise this one is clockwise then this equals 0 therefore here the reaction at a equals that is r a equals 15 by 2 that is 7.5 kilonewton that is acting towards this one is 7.5 kilonewton then by applying summation of h equals 0 or fx equals 0 that give us here yeah, some of the forces in horizontal direction these two are acting towards left side then r h b equals that is reaction horizontal reaction component at b that is at hinge that one is 5 plus 7.5 that is 12.5 kilo newton then summation of v equals 0 that give us here sum of all the forces in vertical direction this one is downward and then v b equals that is upward 10 kN now after knowing the forces in each of uh, external reactions now we can apply by applying the equilibrium equations we have to calculate the forces in all the member now here this member is having two unknowns this uh, yeah, this joint is having two unknowns this this joint is having three unknowns here first we will go for this one is b this one is r v b equals 10 kN h b equals that is 12.5 kN now by using the equilibrium of the joint b here joint b this one is joint b this one is p b c this one is p b a here by applying the equilibrium condition for this joint this one is h b equals 12.5 and v b equals v b equals 10 kN. Now we can apply the equilibrium condition for this joint that is summation of h equals 0 
that give us here this one is acting towards left side this one is uh, towards right side this one is pbc equals 12.5 kilonewton that is acting towards left side or acting away from the joint that one is tension then summation of phi equals 0 that give us here pb is upward then pba that one is acting in downward direction that is 10 kilonewton that one is again that is 10 side then at joint c this one is joint b by equilibrium equations we have calculated pba and pbc now go for go to the joint c joint c or joint b here at joint c again there are three members one is here this load is 5 kilonewton just now we have calculated the force in the member bc that is pbc that is acting away from the joint that one is 12.5 kilonewton this one is pbc 12.5 kilonewton here there are three members one is one is pcd one is pca then here the angle is if you consider this angle as theta this angle is also theta then theta equals that is tan theta equals opposite side divided by opposite side divided by adjacent side or you can calculate sin theta cos theta sin theta equals sin theta equals opposite side is 2 hypotenuse is 2.5 cos theta equals that is opposite adjacent side is 1.5 then hypotenuse is 2.5 now you can re re you can resolve the force along x and y direction this one is assumed as compression here this one is assumed as compression like this then the components of this force is one along x axis and one along y axis then here pca this angle is theta this one is pca cos theta this one is pca sin theta then here summation of h equals 0 that give us pca cos theta that is negative minus 5 kilonewton that is towards left side plus pbc that equals 0 therefore that is PCA cos theta equals 12.5 minus 5 that is PCA equals 7.5 by cos theta that one is 7.5 7.5 cos theta is that is 1.5 by 2.5 this one is 12.5 PCA equals 12.5 kilonewton then that is compression then similarly this one here this component is upward this component is that is PCD summation of phi equals 0 that is PCD equals PCA sin theta then that one is 12.5 into sin theta is 2 by 12 2.5 that one is 10 kilo newton that is PCD equals PCD equals 10 kilonewton.
Now, now we have calculated the force in this member that is 10 kilonewton. This one is 12.5. This one is 12.5 kilonewton. This one is 10 kilonewton. 10 kilonewton. Then coming to joint D. If by observing joint D, here two members are connected, then joint D. If you draw the free board diagram of joint D two members are connected one is the load acting is 10 kilonewton in downward and the force in the member pcd just we have calculated that is upward that one is 10 kilonewton here the force in this member that is p d a that one equals zero here this one is zero force member now we have calculated the forces in all the members due to the applied load now apply apply a unit load unit load at point c then here this one is the diagram this one is the applied unit load at this point this one is c this one is b this one is a this one is d here by observing this here the forces in various members here at uh, joint b here at joint C, joint C, summation of H equals 0, that give us here P, U, C, B equals 1 kilo newton, that is here, this one, this one, and this reaction, that is acting in this one is here this is 1 kilonewton then here this at this joint two members are connected the force is acting along one of the member the force in this member is zero here by observing this joint at joint b at joint b U B A equals zero at joint D U D A equals U D C equals zero. This member, this member, then then this reaction is also zero that is zero then the force in this member is also zero now we have calculated the forces in all the members due to the unit load now member force p that is in kilonewton then u L U is in kilonewton L that is in meters P U L A E P U L by A E here has not given area and L E you have to calculate in terms of 
A and E, we have to calculate the deflection A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A, A, C, then the force in the members, just now we have calculated the force in the members, that is 1 is minus 10 kilo newton A, B, that is 10 kilo newton B, C, 12.5, C D ten kilo newton D A zero A C twelve point five kilo newton that is compression then the length is E B A to B that is two meter two meter then here the unit load in A B zero only in the member C B that is uh, tensile 1 kilo newton 1 kilo newton the remaining things are zero here the length of the member ab is 2 meter bc b to c that is horizontal member 1.5 then c to d that is vertical 2 meter then horizontal member da that is 1.5 meter then c to a that is 2.5 meter then a as it is all the members are having the same area and the modulus of elasticity is say then put it as it is then here we will get the strain energy that is the pul by a that one equals here this one is u equal zero only in this member that is zero this is zero this is zero this one is zero only in this member 12.5 into 1 into 1.5 that is 18.75 then the deflection at c in horizontal direction horizontal deflection at c that one equals p u l divided by a e then here this is summation of in the previous case we have integrating but here will uh, take the summation that one is 18.75 18.75 here the force is in kilonewton l is in meter that one is 18.75 millimeter 18.75 divided by e in terms of A and E, this is the solution for since he has not given the value of A and E. Okay, we will continue in the next video.